A few thoughts now about our formidable president-elect and his manifest leadership. Throughout the campaign, Donald Trump slammed a number of America's corporations for making their products in Mexico to sell in this country. Whether Ford cars or Oreo cookies, moving production out of this country, killing middle-class jobs here to take advantage of lower-cost labor south of the border. Here is presidential candidate Donald Trump telling voters in July of 2015, a month after he decided to run for president, what he would do about Ford. I would tell the head of Ford very simply, I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to go back to the United States. And then he'll say, okay, we're not going to build the plant. We're going to build it in New Hampshire. We're going to build it in someplace else. Okay, that's what's going to happen. And it's what happened today. Ford announcing it's canceling plans to build a $1.6 billion factory in Mexico, choosing instead to invest hundreds of millions of dollars in one of the company's Michigan factories and hire another 700 American workers. CEO Mark Fields explained the reasons for the company's change of strategy. He acknowledged Trump's election and the policies that have have been produced as a result. There is a more positive business environment now, and the move is a vote of confidence in the president-elect's economic policies. The president-elect had a very good day, a lot of wins. Mr. Trump's trade agenda getting a boost from usually adversarial big labor. None other than the president of the AFL-CIO, Richard Tramka, today pledged to work with the Trump White House to renegotiate NAFTA. Trump's wins today extending to the swamp known as D.C. Mr. Trump sending a clear message to lawmakers that he's in charge now. Trump slamming a House Republican effort to prioritize a plan to cut the Office of Congressional Ethics. The House Republicans reversed themselves and acceded to the president-elect's leadership on what will be their priorities. Put simply, Donald Trump's already delivering big on his promise that Americans will be winners again. We're going to win so much, you may even get tired of winning. And you'll say, please, please, it's too much winning. We can't take it anymore. Mr. President, it's too much. And I'll say, no, it isn't. We have to keep winning. Whatever you say, Mr. President-elect, three big victories for the president-elect today alone, each a big win for the American people. I'm pretty sure we're not going to mind too much all of this winning. And with all he's done already, I can't wait to see what Mr. Trump can do when he takes the oath of office and actually goes on the federal payroll.